what's up y'all i am back week three so today's monday the 14th i had my coat on when i came out of work today and it's kind of it's kind of hot like it's real springy like like okay i'm feeling it i'm here for it if we want to start spring before my birthday i'm here for all of that so yeah but anyway, y'all, oh, come on, come on, come on. This is why I hate driving. And you still don't know what you're doing. Like, come on. What the fuck? Anyway, y'all, um, y'all see my hair. Y'all see my hair, right? I'm on my way to the hair store to, I gotta find like a wig for my photo shoot on Thursday. Now, I know I said in last week's video that was the goal for last week. However, I just, I didn't make it last week. So today I'm gonna go straight there cause I was like, oh, I could go tomorrow or Wednesday. And I'm like, no, Michaela, you already put it off last week. So this week you have to do it and you have to stop procrastinating and wait until the last minute to do stuff because that's your problem. And I said, you know what? You're absolutely right. So I'm going to go to one hair store today. Um, I, What is this called? I don't even know what it's called. I just know where it's at. But they usually have like some decent um, wigs. Actually, I need to get over. They usually have some decent wigs um, and like decent weaves too and it's just for like one day so i'm not pressed to spend like a bunch of money like i'm literally gonna wear it one day and that's it um but don't you hate like that in between stage like when you're about to get your hair done and your hair is not cooperating so it's like you're bunning it for like two weeks straight i get my hair done next saturday and i cannot wait like i'm just tired of i'm tired of a bun i'm tired of it just looking like rough like i'm just i'm over it y'all oh y'all can't even see my beautiful eyes but i'm over it i'm just i'm just ready to get my hair braided because it's braid season like once it starts warming up it's braid season um so yeah we're gonna go in here we're gonna see what we can find and um yeah i'm actually gonna try to find something that is my hair color which is like a honey blonde but it doesn't really look honey blonde because my roots is growing out if not i'll definitely do a 1b or a black um i'm not opposed to something with i mean long um but i think i want to do like something like shoulder length like shoulder length bob or something maybe bob with a bang like but we'll see, we'll see. See what they got. happened i was in the middle of recording but you know what i think it's because i was showing y'all some stuff on my macbook and then i'm recording on my phone and i don't know but it just stopped recording like it deleted the whole thing anyway i'm home i'm comfortable because i needed to get out of those work clothes i have a couple orders that i have to process and i'm looking at my bun and it is lopsided, it is to the right, and it's not in the middle of my head where it's supposed to be, but we just gonna let it rock out. I just wanna show you guys just a glimpse into how I process my orders. So, one order is from Jasmine, my cousin Jasmine. I have a lot of cousins named Jasmine. 
I have three that I know of. If there's more, hey y'all. She ordered the Kayla B racer set. So it's some very stretchy, cute biker shorts. And they stop right above your knee. And then they have a matching top. And it's called the Kayla, Kayla B racer set because it has this racer back. And this is a crop, <clears throat> a crop top. Um, this has a lot of stretch as well. It comes in three colors, black. And I actually believe she just bought the last one. Black, pink, and it's like a, I wanna say a mustard yellow, maybe like an orange yellow. So I like to kind of just fold it down as flat as I can, depending on what packaging I use. I do have two different sizes. I have this one, and I believe the other one is 11 by 13. That's like the, the normal size that packages come in. Um, I ordered these, and these were the first ones I ordered, and I ordered the wrong size. So a lot of stuff can't fit in here, but when I do have orders, I do like to use these. And if you order something small for me, you probably will get this in the mail, even though I have switched logos and everything but do not worry i will run out of these soon the goal is to get this in here fold it up and get it to fit in here if it doesn't fit i will take it out of the clear wrapping and just put it straight into the poly mailer but let's see how this fits and then if i have to i will just fold it again I do like to fold it as flat as possible. That way the shipping cost is not as high. Now I do use uh, Shippo to ship out my orders. When I go to the post office, I like to just drop my package off and go. I don't like waiting in line unless I have three or more orders to ship out then i do like to get a receipt just to um keep track of the packages so they don't get lost there was a package that i had sent to this girl and she forgot to put her apartment number in so she's like dming me like oh i forgot to put my apartment number in did you send it and i'm like you already sent it so basically long story short she literally never got the order and I haven't received the order back. Like it was supposed to be returned back to me and I never got it back. I took that as somebody stole that package. Like literally, somebody stole it. The package says, if you can't wear it with sneakers too, why are you buying it? Somebody at the post office said, this is an outfit. I didn't get the package back. I keep hitting up USPS. They're talking about, oh, the, the tracking link doesn't work. All this and all that. And I said, you know what? I'm going to just count it as a loss because this happened in June of last year. It's about to be June of this year. So with Shippo, basically all you do is you just weigh your package, 7.5 ounces, uh, and you, 0.5, weigh your package, and then you measure your package length, width, and height. So this is 10 and a half long and six and a half wide. So then I enter those in. And then the height, usually the height for me is always not even an inch. So I just put 0 0.5 because it has to be uh, at least um, half of an inch. It has to be like something, it can't be zero. Then I'll just go ahead, oh my gosh, get out the way. I can't really show you because it's showing the person's information, but I'll save that information and then it'll calculate the shipping for me. But the one thing that I always have to make sure is instead of hitting buy, I have to hit the drop down menu and uh, the Make sure I select the right date. Because if I drop it off to the post office and it has the wrong date, it has today's date. 
they'll send it back to me. You sign up and everything, you'll have your card information so it automatically comes out your account when you hit buy and then like my printer is already set up so I don't really have to do that. Now my printer sometimes be acting funky. Like I gotta do a test run before I print it but I'm running out of labels so I'm trying to just let it rock out and do its thing but it's annoying. It's gonna make this very weird like hippopotamus noise and it bothers me. I don't know why it does that. It just does it literally. The only thing that I have to change on here when I go to my printer is make sure that it's a shipping label because it will go to a default it doesn't matter which shipping label it is and then I have to scale it to 55% so that it fits onto the the paper and I'm gonna go ahead and hit print and I just want y'all to hear this oh that's trifling that is trifling because every single time I hit print one time, it goes like, mm -hmm. like it's just a weird noise that it makes. But now because I'm on camera, it wants to work. That's trifling. That's really, you know how like you be like, oh, I don't feel good. So then you go to the doctor like the next day and then all of a sudden you feel fine. That's exactly what just happened here. Now for my next order, she is doing local pickup. So Usually with local pickup, I'll say Friday is the day for pickup. But if I'm able to get your order completed before Friday, I'll send you your pickup ready email. Then we'll just pick a date or day or time that works best for you for us to meet. Um, and then I have to actually make a hoodie, a tomboy she hoodie. Shout out to Deshaun. We played basketball together in high school. Um, she got a hoodie and she got her tomboy socks and white. So, I'll just have to make her hoodie on my, my handy dandy Cricut. All of the my hoodies, uh, some of my t-shirts are made to order unless I already have it made. And then I'll just package it up. But I'm going to have to make her order. And then I'll show y'all that process too. But I'm going to show y'all how I make it with my Cricut first. Now, for my hoodies and everything, I created on my Cricut. So it is already saved, if you can see. I do like to leave myself little notes as far as like the dimensions for the, the shirt. So for small to large hoodies, it's 11 inches and then it's set to proportion. So if once I type in 11 inches, it'll automatically put in the height so it doesn't look too stretched out. Because the there's two different fonts and there's two different vinyls that I use to make the hoodie, I can't just select the whole thing and make it all at one time. I have to do it separate. So I'm going to go ahead and just hide. Let's say I want to hide, do the tomboy first. So I'll go ahead, hide the chic, and then I'll hit make it. And I have to get my vinyl out. So, All right, I got my machine all set up with my vinyl. I have to make sure I hit mirror so that way when I take it out and cut it and weed it, I lay it on the hoodie and when I heat press it, it'll come out the right way. And this is very important. So I'll just hit continue. And all of these are like already set to default. So, and what it's doing right now is just making sure that I have enough vinyl to make the make the image or the letter that I'm trying to make, which I do. Once it measures it, it said it just it tells me to go ahead and press play, and then it'll cut it. And you definitely have to make sure you have a bright light so you can see this when you're cutting it because you do not want to mess up your letters. At all. At all. And then I'll just repeat the same thing for the chic and just replace it with the glitter vinyl. And I gotta weed it. So I'll show y'all how I'll weed it next. The next part of doing the hoodies is you have to weed it. You can't really see. Let me see if I turn this down a bit. You can kind of see a little bit of the outline of the, the lettering. 
Um, it's good to get a weeding tool. I got, like, the Cricut, you can get it from Michaels. They have, like, literally all of the tools that you need. So, I got the Cricut. And then I was like, oh, like, I don't need this thing. Like, I got something I can use at home. I didn't have nothing that I could use at home. I was using my fingers. And this is not the same kind of vinyl that, like, I'm using at work. At work, it's easier to peel. But you need this tool. If you have a Cricut machine and you're printing stuff, you need this tool because... It helps get the job done. Like right now, I just messed up, but it's okay. Just because of how the letters are, you won't even be able to tell. And basically, your letters will end up like this. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish this because I can't do it. They're a little light because the last time I had my ring light on and my heat press, I blew out a socket. So we're not even about to play like that no more. I already have my t-shirt set. So basically, I just need to turn it around so like the hood doesn't interfere with me pressing it down. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this. And then we have our hoodie, all pressed and ready to go. And this one is a little bit easier because she is doing pickup. So all I will have to do is just package. Package her order in a bag, and I'm going to send her pickup ready email. I'm with y'all done. I'm just here to get a vacuum. Like, I'm so excited to vacuum my car. I don't know the last time I vacuumed it, and that's crazy. So, I'm excited. I'm really excited. This shit got a drive through. Like, what? Look at this shit. Like, what's going on? Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. How can I help you? That's hard. <sighs> Damn. All right, now she getting too close. She getting too close. My impromptu car wash was actually pretty therapeutic. Very therapeutic, actually. Like, look at my. I think I did good. Now, <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me, bless me. Now I need to go get in the shower and um, get something to eat because I feel very dirty and girl, it's through this with a parent has to be the hardest thing in the world. I mean, that's right. Imagine if I was in there with Luna and it was her having to worry about me and, and hold my hand. No, this whole thing is just awful. I mean, Rebecca and his dad, <laughs> can't we? The Mac. Wrong. Blueberry. Mm. You really suck at this game. Mm. Uh. Somebody's auntie Blueberry is in the back making this. I love this worse. Mac. She's like, ah. <laughs>
Friday the 18th and I am drained my pants is falling down I don't have the energy to pick them up I'm cold I had a very very long week but it was a very productive week yesterday's photo shoot was amazing it was so good Shout out to Tatra. I, she just made me feel so comfortable in front of the camera. And I've never like like being in front of the camera. Like even doing this was a lot. So she made me feel very comfortable. The pictures came out great. The ones that I've seen, the ones that she sent. And then I did really good on my makeup. Like you would have thought I went to a professional, but I didn't. It was really, really good. Um... I hope you guys enjoy some of the behind the scenes. I just can't wait for the rest of the pics to be finished, edited, so I can post up. Because if you want to post up, oh, we can't see that. Nah, but I got a couple of things that I want to unbox with you or show, share with you. Forgive me, y'all. Because I've been ordering. I've been ordering a lot of stuff. Um, So... This is from Popple. And I wanted to get a easier way for business cards. So I don't have to keep like, oh, I don't have any business cards on me. Or, oh, I ran out of business cards. Or, oh, they can't print it. And I kept, I've, I've known about this company for a while. I just never ordered anything from them. But basically what it is, is it is a, now why did they put their logo right underneath of mine? Like, what are y'all doing? Anyway. It's basically, and forgive my charger hanging, my phone needs to, to um, charge, but it's basically a, hold up, let me see. Yay, I got the logo on there, Aliyah Big B, let me see. There we go. But basically what it is, you put it on your phone, the back of your phone. And any kind of phone, Android, iPhone, Samsung, whatever, they just tap this and all of your stuff will come up. Whatever you decide to register, your phone, your phone, I'm tired, y'all. Um, your Instagram, your Facebook, your website, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, whatever you want to link to it, that'll come up. People click it, they follow you, they got all your information right there. And the greatest part about it is they don't even have to have a popple or the popple app to get all your information literally they just tap their phone or hold their phone up to yours and they're good to go and i know people hate when it's like oh you gotta download the app to use it or you gotta download the app to receive it it's just like no nah. you hold your phone up tap and all my info is gonna come up i think this will come in handy especially at pop-up shops um, and then like when I'm out on the go, of course, I'll definitely order business cards, but I just won't have to order as many like I normally do. Um, but this is just very convenient, especially when I'm at work. I like to wear a lot of my Alaya B pieces to work. For example, 
this sheer bodysuit I have on underneath. It's so much easier to say, oh girl, here, tap, and it'll take you straight to my website. You know what I'm saying? So that way I'm gonna be like, follow me on Instagram, do this, do that. It's literally all right here. And I think that's a cool way for people to remember you as well. Uh, they are like, oh, this girl had this thing on her phone and I just scanned it and all her information came up. It's lit, you gotta get you one. I'm definitely gonna um, put this on a phone, put this on my phone and see um, who, to show y'all how it works. Um, just because I have to register it first. So I gotta set up all of my information. Um, and then, yeah, it's compatible for iPhones and Androids. It linked usernames only. No passwords needed. Um, and it says upgrade. More connections, more leads, more sales. Others don't need an app or a popple to receive your info. So, this is a very good investment. I just have to register this. I got my info and I'll be good to go. And I got a custom one. You can get one that just has like a color or whatever. But I wanted one with my logo on it. I'm kind of mad they put their popple logo underneath my logo. Which kind of defeated the purpose. But... It is what it is. It's still dope. Just stick it on the back of your phone and it's with you all the time. That's it. Girl, mind your business. Uh, what else did I get? Something from Amazon. Something from Amazon. This is for this is a selfie ring light. Shout out to Nye because she had this on her phone. I was like, this phone is very, very crafty. Like, this is very smart. I remember when everybody used to have the case on their phone. There it is. Selfie ring light. Got this from Amazon. I remember when everybody used to have the case, and I'm just like I don't want to have the case on my phone all the time. I want to switch it up. What I do like about this, all the reviews were good. It comes with the instruction manual. It's just basic info. Tell you how to use it. Um, but I'm a review reader. So if you leave a review, shout out to you because that really helps me out. It, it comes with a USB port so you can charge it. Here's the light. It's just a cute light. It clips like a hair clip onto your phone. Let's see if I can hook it up to my MacBook. There you go. And here's a button, I believe, to turn it on. And you get different lights. I believe there are three settings. That was a warm light. This is a cool light. And, oh no, that's warm. This is off. This is, I don't know what this light is, but I know this is cool and I know this is warm. And you just put it right in front of your camera and it'll give you extra light. Let's see if I can show y'all on here. <laughs> you know i don't know i don't know okay it's giving me it's giving me a brighter light on my laptop like the light is just brighter but it really works for your phone um you would definitely have to take your case off to use this because i don't think that this will especially if you have like an otter box or anything I don't think that this would fit because it's so thick and I have a thick case, so I would just have to take it off all the time. But this comes in handy, especially at nighttime in the club, in the in the bar. This is really good. And you got different settings. That's what I love about it. So I cannot wait to use this. I don't know where I'm going, but I need to go somewhere at night so I can like what? Yes, I come with the light. I am the light. I can say a hello. Sorry. And I will, 
I will link this in the description. So if you want it, you can go ahead and purchase it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go ahead and get this out the way right now. So I was so hyped, right? I finally hit on a sneakers app, right? And it was for Sakai. These are Sakai's. I will be doing a sneaker video, but that's not today. They came in black and white. I knew for a fact I wasn't going to get the white. I put a raffle in for one of my friends. And I was like, let me try for the black because the black is kind of hard too. Like this would have been cute with my outfit today, right? Let me, let me, let me get the detail for y'all. Look at the artistic detail on this sneaker. This, just get into it. Now imagine this in white. The white crazy with the bubblegum sole. Crazy, right? Y'all, sneak so on the sneakers app. If you're not familiar familiar with the sneakers app, you basically put in an entry for your size. At ten o'clock, it opens up. You got like ten minutes. Get your size. Get all your information in, and they be like, "All right, boom, your entry is submitted." And then, in about ten minutes, it'll send you a notification if you won or if you lost, if you got them or if you didn't get them. Do you know how hype I was when I got this notification that I got them? My first win on the sneakers app. After a very sought after sneaker. And you know what my ass did? Got the wrong damn size. How the... How did I do that? I know how I did it. I was rushing. I was rushing. I wasn't even thinking I wasn't paying attention. Y'all got the wrong size. These are a men's three and a half, a woman's five. Child, I am a woman seven. It ain't even no way I could squeeze my tight ass foot up in here. So you know what? I'm going to just have to sell them. If anybody know anybody that's willing to trade, holler at your girl because I need a size seven in women, size five in men's. Help me out. Please help me out. I really need these in my life. Like, they would have been so cute with my outfit today. And my hair. Shout out to Amber on the hair. But yeah, y'all. <sighs> Dang. And then I hit for my boyfriend. So, I mean, at least somebody got something. It's not me. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. And matter of fact, I'm going to just stay right here so I don't got to keep going back and forth. I know exactly what this is. This is from my auntie down in Georgia. She's very crafty. And she's been spending her retirement in uh, Georgia. Just making things. She makes beautiful canvas art. She makes cups and wine glasses i sent some of my friends some uh glasses for christmas like she did she's very good so you know when she was like yeah i make i got a drunk uno and a dirty uno and i'm like oh girl what's the dirty uno about because you know you know you know your girl that little there. You know you girl, you know, you you know how I do. You know how I do. Anyway, so she's like, all right, let me know. I'm like, yes, I can take this with me on my trip for my birthday. Like, yeah. So I'm excited to see. Cause I've never played Dirty Uno. Now I played Drunk Uno before. Now one thing about her, she gonna wrap this thing up. Oh, I think 
got a 69 on the front. I know I'm gonna love it. Okay. Here is the packaging. Dirty Uno with the 69 on it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful case. I really don't even want to take it out. I just want to put it in my suitcase like this. But we gonna we gonna open it. Okay. Okay. Here is the inside. It's packaged very nice, very pretty. It has some Uno cards. Um and it has the instructions. Uh, it has all of the instructions. Can y'all see? All right. A dirty Uno official rules. Everyone takes one shot to start the game. If you get a draw two, you take two shots and kiss your partner. A draw four. You take one shot and you foreplay for four minutes. Oh, we really trying to get dirty. Okay. Skip, you take two shots and give oral to your partner until a faint moan or noise is made. Oh, the game ain't getting completed. <laughs> the game is, yo, what if the first card is a fucking skip? Like, <laughs> the game is done. The game is over. Reverse. This is not suitable for work, not suitable for kids. Rub the pussy or stroke the dick for one minute. Mm. False uno, you take three shots. And then uno, loser takes two shots, get naked, and make their partner come. Wow. That's dirty for you. That's dirty. Wanna get dirty? And then... There's a pack of Uno cards in there, and it's the one with the customizable wild cards. <laughs> so, we can customize this dirty Uno. And then, I don't want to take the glass out of the wrapper because I'm taking this with me in my trip. But it's just a shot glass. I got two shot glasses. They both say just Uno on it in red. One, I'm sorry, one is in red and one is in black. So that's what comes with my Dirty Uno. And I'm glad I say this for last because I'm very excited. Shout out to my aunt, man. I appreciate her for this. This is going to be so fun. I can't wait to do a review on this. <laughs> but my night is not over. I have to finish getting ready for tomorrow's photo shoot. I have four or five hoodies to make and send out. We'll get ready to get sent out. Um, and I still need to get in the shower. I probably won't eat anything. I had some leftover lettuce tacos, but I just wanna lay down. So we'll see what time I get done. I'm aiming for about 12, cause then I have to get up around six, to like do my makeup and stuff. And I'm gonna try to pack my car tonight so I don't have to worry about that in the morning and get to sleep in a little bit extra, but I'm aiming for 12 o'clock. We shall see what time I am in the bed, not finished in the bed. I'm really excited about tomorrow's shoot. I just really hope that everything comes out and is executed the way that I envisioned it. Um, I feel as though I have a good location and everything. Um, so right now I'm just steaming for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna get my, my kit together just to make sure I have my glint roller. Um, and get my makeup and stuff together and then i'm gonna wake up early in the morning because i'm really tired and um i'm going to get together like the accessories and everything to go with the looks so i don't have uh the good thing about it is it's not a lot to shoot so we don't have to be out there all day 
um but it is like very like i can style these pieces i can mix and match these pieces in so many different ways so i want to make sure that i capture all of that but at the same time just not um like leave enough for styling videos and everything and hope i get a lot of good shots just for good content i'm really excited about tomorrow i hope everybody else is that's helping out and i just pray that everybody all my customers are receptive to the new merch and they love it and they react to it because i've really been you know trying to get it together for a long time and making sure that these are the, the things that i'm sticking to you know if that makes sense so I'm gonna finish seeing these. Look at that way. Oh my gosh. You probably can't see, but <clears throat> I'm gonna just finish steaming everything. Um and then I'm getting the big job. I'm trying out my portable ring light right now and y'all can see it in my glasses. It's given. Let me show y'all the different um settings on it. But um, it's it's twelve twelve forty or twelve forty five, <clears throat> and um, as you can see, I'm getting ready for bed. Um, I'm gonna get up at six tomorrow, and just just finish getting the accessories together. Um, work on some different poses because I'm not really good at posing, so I definitely need to work on that. Uh, I'm going to try to be there early, just an hour early, just to scope the place out and then send everyone the location and then we're going to shoot. I have to make sure that I bring my portable tent so I can change my clothes. And yeah, I'm really excited. Like I'm tired, but I'm really excited. So I can't wait. See, I got the bag under my eyes. I can't, I'm just, I'm just very excited for tomorrow, so, good night, y'all. It's 8 a.m., I have a fresh face, I'm very, very tired, but I'm also very excited. Um, I just got out of the shower, now I'm about to do my makeup, I'm gonna try to make this hoodie before I go, and then, I'm out. We got a long day, I gotta, I'm gonna try to be there by 10. So I can get set up and then we can start shooting by 11 and we have a great time. So I will see y'all when I'm done. I'm not feeling my makeup. I'm not feeling my hair. I feel like for whatever reason, I look very orange. So I'm just having a time right now, but you know what? I gotta, <sighs> I just gotta woosa and just let everything be what's gonna be and just good vibes that everything's gonna go smoothly but yeah i'm just not feeling my makeup like i just feel like it's just it's not doing what it's supposed to do but it's no turning back oh my god i feel like i look so orange it's no turning back we're here getting ready to shoot i didn't really know the location of the shoot so i just had to get here and send everybody my location <laughs> So I'm just waiting for everybody to get here, which is fine because I needed a couple of minutes to get myself together. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So I was going for a parking garage vibe and my boyfriend found one for me. And this is perfect. It's a lot of space, it's quiet. I wanted us to be able to park up here, but we had to have like a keypad access. So. It's very good light. Hopefully we can get some really good shots. Um, and if it does rain, hopefully it um, it holds off. So I'm excited. This is exactly what I was going for. I am, this is making me feel a little bit better. I'm just sitting here waiting for everybody to get here and I'm just reflecting and I'm very grateful like this is where I wanted to be at 
year one, but it's not. And I know there was this, uh, I know like a lot of people, they always talk about, oh, like I wish I was here, I wish I was there, da da da. Like I wish my business was here, let me fix my unit. But you pray for these things and you want it to happen overnight or you want it to happen very quick, very fast. But it's just like, if you think about it, you're living in one of your prayers. So I wanted to be in this space at year one. So now it's year three, but I'm here. So I just feel like as a small business owner starting up, you know, to, to branch out to be a bigger business and a bigger brand, you just really have to be grateful for where you are at right now in the moment and just live in it, bask in it. And just appreciate it every single, every single thing, the good, the bad, the highs, the lows, just everything, just appreciate it. As long as you stay consistent, you keep working at it, you'll get there. You'll get to exactly where you want to be, where you need to be. And then if, if I was here at year one, it probably wouldn't have been as good. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't have, I didn't know how to do my, my makeup. I didn't know like who my customer was. I didn't really, you know, know where I wanted my brand to go. I was just saying, oh, what should I buy? What should I buy? And everybody was telling me, but it was stuff that I was like, I don't even feel comfortable in it. I don't even would even wouldn't even know how to sell it, you know. But now I'm in a really good space. I'm in a good place, and I'm just grateful to God for just helping me to get here, helping me to stay focused. And now I'm just ready to just listen to Him. And whenever He say do, I'ma do it. Whenever He say move, I'ma move. Um, my my response, my answer to God is yes every single time and listen to shekinah glory i mean she yeah shekinah glory ministries the song is called yes that song speaks to my soul good i hope the pictures come out good because the sun was in my face but i'm really excited once my friends got there and um we started like shooting and everything i felt more relaxed i felt better so now i have some orders to drop off i have to get some food like i have to i really basically haven't eaten since like thursday so i need to take care of that then I gotta go home, clean. I got another video to do for y'all because I went shopping some more. And then I wanted to go see my brother DJ tonight. Um, it just depends on how I feel and if I find somebody to go with me. Um, so that may be happening, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and give me some chick for legs. I'm going right there. Oh, let me not run this red light. I decided that I wanted to take myself out on a brunch date. So I'm going out to brunch, solo dolo. And I'm kind of glad because the place that I'm going to, they don't really have like a lot on the brunch menu. So I wanted to go and try it out first before I'd be like, oh, let's go to this place. And then we get there and they be like, this is nasty your shit, bro. Why are you bring me here? So yeah, then I gotta go get some vinyl. I got some t-shirts and hoodies to make. Then I'll be home editing videos and that's it.
1861 a 10 out of 10 i got the big daddy if you saw on the menu there was a a, a option called the big daddy it was so good um the chicken was very crispy and i got my egg fried hard because i don't like over easy eggs uh, but it was actually pretty good. The, it came with home fries, a bus, and, and my drink that I had, I had two of them. So they were they were really good. And I was telling my friends about this place. And I was just like, yeah, I was like, I went out by myself. And I was like, it just felt so good to go out by myself. And they're like, why? I'm like, because I'm always with somebody. Like, I'm never by myself unless I'm in the shower. You feel what I'm saying? So... I just, I just loved how I was just able to just do my own thing and take my time. I didn't have to be rushed because some people was ready to go, some people was not. Like, I didn't have to worry about, oh, you this or you that, or I want this or I don't know what I want. I just was able to come in, look at the menu on my own and just do my own thing. They wasn't really bothering me. They was just letting me do my thing. And it was just very peaceful. Like, sometimes you just need to just be by yourself. And I'm one of those people I am okay with being by myself. I'm okay. I didn't feel weird. I didn't feel awkward. Like, you know how you see like older people out, you're like, oh, I feel so sad. I'm gonna be that older person. I don't feel like being bothered with people. I'm always with people. And I really just wanted to be by myself today. Like, well, going to brunch, cause I may be going out later, but I just wanted to be by myself. And I had fun. I took myself out on a date and it was just, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful thing. Everybody in there was nice um, and attentive. Like I said, they just let me do my thing. And then, like, they checked back in, like, are you good? You need anything? And I was just like, no, I'm good. So it was a good time, 10 out of 10. I definitely want to go back for dinner and maybe take, like, some friends or my boyfriend out to dinner. But it was really good. And I'm about sick and tired of getting caught at these yellow lights because I got to use a bathroom. And I didn't get a mimosa. I got a something punch but it was good and i had two and i drank both of them and you know what surprisingly i ate all my food i didn't get a video of me with my finished food because i'm a messy eater so it kind of looked a mess but i ate all my food y'all so I should be proud of you girl but definitely 10 out of 10 recommend 1861 it's in middletown delaware nice cozy vibes
and I'm not jealous because I know I'm a bad bitch, but it's the principle. And that's it. I it's the principle. I didn't raise right. you to be jealous. It's the principle. At the end of the day, right there on the you better not be jealous of nobody. I'm not jealous of nobody. nobody. You better not be. I'm not jealous of nobody. It just be the it just be the principle. It's the principle. It's the principle. It's the principalities. Hold up! Shout out to the bitch I'm for getting my smile right. Yes, girl. Period. So when we get, when we After the $1,000, I paid for them braces didn't work. Oh, yeah, That's so stupid. Child, I paid a $1,000 with you. What? I, paid a, I paid a couple thousand dollars with you. Because we. I'm going to do Delaware. I'm going to do everything lit. I'm going to do Delaware. 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 I'm going to do